everyone. Melanie from Speaking Styles. I hope you're all having an amazing week. Happy Wednesday for everybody watching. And I wanted to talk about stress today because it's something that can hold us back. It can prevent us from having effective conversations with people one-on-one. -on -one. It can also affect us in meetings at work and it can also affect us if we're speaking in front of a group or an audience. And when I talk about stress, it's our, it's our daily stress that we have. So sometimes we don't always notice that we are stressed. We can just be really busy with so much that we have to do and all of the things that we keep in our head, all of those day-to-day -day tasks that we just think we never get through and then we don't take lunch and we're working late and we constantly never take time for ourselves in order to reduce that stress. And when we have stress, it can actually stop our creativity. It can stop us from being able to be present in that moment. And it can prevent us from just having that conversation in that moment where we're just concentrating on that person. We're present, we're in the moment, we're relaxed. We're not thinking about all of these endless things that we still have to do or things that we might be worrying about in our day-to-day -day lives, our personal lives, within our businesses or within work. So those things can all accumulate to just not having productive communication. And we can also, we can also have those fears. So from anxiety, we can start to have fears around one-on-one -on -one communication, around talking to groups of fear of rejection, that we um, lose control, we, have, we don't want to be embarrassed or humiliated, and we also don't want to fail in what we're doing. And sometimes this can stem from our own lack of self-belief in ourselves, that we start to have doubts in our own ability. And when we're in that state of being highly stressed or we're in that flight and fight mode, we actually can't be creative in order to share our ideas, to connect with people effectively, to speak up in meetings, to go from being passive to being assertive because we just get lost in our own heads. We just have that moment of fog where we just can't think effectively um, because we have all of this stress going on. And the reason why I can talk about that is because that's something that I've lived with for a very long time. It's something that I still continue to have daily. And it means that it takes me a lot longer to sit down and get focused and be creative because I can be worrying about things that might happen in five years time or 10 years time. So if you can relate to that, especially if you have a presentation coming up or a workshop, and if this is something that's, that you do, is that it can be something that you have a presentation or a speech or you have a meeting coming up in work and it's a week or two weeks away and you feel like every day just constantly playing on your mind that you have this thing to do. And then what happens is we don't actually take our minute by minute, hour by minute, day by day because we're just so overwhelmed and consumed by this thing that we're doing in, in the future. And what happens is we actually create what's going to happen in that event. So if we're in a state of anxiety and stress and worry and fear and self-doubt, then what we're doing is we're just manifesting when that event comes, we're manifesting that we're going to have self-doubt. We're going to be really anxious about that event. We're going to just create that energy that can not be as positive as what we want to happen. So what we want to do is we want to start before we have these events. And the way in which we can do that is we can do that day to day in our one on one conversations. We can practice that more and more about being present, about being relaxed in that moment and actually enjoying it without being stressed. Because what happens when we are stressed or we're just really busy in our lives and our work is that we have this um, we have this balance where one part of it, the weight goes up and one part of it comes down. And 
what I talk about that is, is that what happens when we're, when we can be highly stressed or we're in that flight and fight mode is that our egos go up and it means that um, our frustration and our anger and those stress levels come up and it actually stops us from being able to think and act effectively. So especially if we're just in our busy lives and we're just going from task to task to task without actually taking breath prior to speaking to that next person. Because what we want is a balance of those. We want to be able to balance out our emotions so that we can actually be present. So that we can actually be present in the moment. We can be empathetic to people. Because when we're not able to process our emotions is that then we find it harder to then connect with others and be more effective and empathetic with them. To be more mindful of what other people are going through. To be more of that helpful person and considering other people's needs and feelings. So what I have today is I want to give you a technique that I do and I do with my clients and I do in my workshops and it's something that you can keep this recorded and do it another another time but I just wanted to take you through something that you can do because we're all in control of how we react to certain situations and especially if we are having difficulties around communicating with others And also within teams and organizations and businesses, it's really important that if you have people in your team that are struggling, is that we want to be supportive and we want to create a supportive environment for them. We want to be able to support them through mentoring, um, through encouraging them to speak up in meetings, getting them to contribute to different ideas and sometimes it could be that we want to be able to let those people go away and think about it and have some time because sometimes if we're we're put on the spot then if we're just in that really high stress mode we're not going to be able to contribute effectively so if you're watching now and you are able to if not then please come back and watch this a little bit later on so i want you just to get really comfortable where you are if you are there and you can have a bit of a quiet space to sit on your chair then just get as comfortable as you can right now and then I'd like you to close your eyes and then I'd like you to take one big breath in and out through your nose And I'd like you to take another breath. And at the end of this breath, I would like you to relax all of the muscles in your face. Let your forehead relax and let all the muscles around your eyes relax. Take another deep breath and relax your jaw. Take another deep breath and relax your entire body into the chair below you. Now I want you to ask yourself, what is your innermost value? And let whatever thoughts and feelings come to mind. And then I'd like you to write it down so you can open your eyes and I want you to note down whatever came to mind and keep that in a safe place that you can do this exercise every single day. And if you don't have a pen or notepad handy, that's okay. You can write it down later when you can.
And then closing your eyes again, I'd like you to say your innermost value silently and then say it aloud. And notice how you feel when you say it. Now, keeping your eyes closed, I want you to ask yourself, how important is it to you to be listened to and understood? And again, just let whatever thoughts and feelings come to mind and then let them go. Now ask yourself, what tone of voice would best communicate what I want to say? And let whatever thoughts and feelings come to mind. And then let them go. Now ask yourself, what is the best way to listen when someone else is speaking? And let whatever thoughts and feelings come to mind. and let them go. And take one final last breath in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Now, this is a technique that you could do every day it's a technique that you could do prior to speaking to someone one-on-one, -on -one, before going into a meeting, before going on stage, before coming on and in, in being live or in a recorded video. And the more that you can do that, the more that you can then relax. You can become present, but you can also then remember your innermost values before you go in to speak to someone. You can start to create how you would like to be listened to. What tone of voice do you think is going to best communicate what you want to say in that conversation, in that meeting, or speaking before an audience? And then because we want people to listen to us and we want to become better listeners, it's really good to ask ourselves, which way is it best to listen to when someone else is communicating? so that we can be present for them. And it will really then convey that conversation is that both parties will then begin to deeply listen to one another. So this is something that I do take through with my clients. It's something that you can do every day. And um, there is more of an extended version of this. This is just a little snapshot and a breakdown for you that you can do literally uh, within a couple of minutes um, at your desk or at home or before you leave in the morning. And it's a really useful tool. It's something that I do every single day in my own life. And it's something that has really helped reduce anxiety and reduce stress. 
So if this has been really helpful, then give it a thumbs up and please share with anybody else that this could really benefit anybody and have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat to you all soon.